We live in an era where zero tolerance is possible because in machining, almost perfect isn't perfect enough. But how did we get here? Today we are going back, way back to the very beginning of metal cut. Every chip we remove today builds on centuries of innovation. Now let's take a look. Picture this. Ancient Egyptian craftsmen drilling holes in beds for mummies. One drill, too slow. So they got creative. They tied multi drills to a single bowl. Just like that, the first multi spindle machine was born. Today we have swapped copper for carbide, bowls for CNC, but the goal still the same. Get more done faster. Now we're drilling thousands of precision holes in the time it took to just drill one hole. Here's a fun fact. The Philistines, yes, those guys from the Bible, earn what might have been the world's first tool sharpening monopoly. After they conquered the Israelites, they banned people from sharpening their own tools. If your blade got down, you had to pay them to sharpen it. Sounds familiar? Today's shop still charge per piece, but instead of iron files, we've got diamond abrasives and robotic precision. No people come mockups here, just razor sharp tools every time. Leonardo da Vinci didn't just paint the Mona Lisa, he imagined the future of machining. Lathes, thread cutters, even grinders. He sketched them all back in the 1400s. The problem, no one had the tech to build them yet. Today, we're living in his dream. 5 axis CNC, laser measuring, tolerance tighter than a watch gear. These ideas are part of our everyday work. Da Vinci would have loved our workshop. Medieval clockmakers were doing precision work before the world even existed. They hand cut gears, escapements, and screws. No digital roundabouts, just pure skill. Their work led to the first school cutting lathes, paving the way for everything that we do today. Now, we're machining aerospace parts with that same attention to detail. Just a lot faster, smarter, and more precise. From copper drills to CNC new, from hand cut gears to robotic automation, machining's history is a story of constant progress.